Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop for 10 more minutes of loafing action. <laughs> no, come on, we ain't loafing. We ain't loafing in the shop. I've been busy, people. I've been sitting back looking at my nice clean garage today. Look at this. See if you can guess what's missing. Where did that plug go? I'm all done with that plug, baby. We got it chucked in the basement. <laughs> got me a nice big shop now. Okay, what I've been doing, sitting in back, sitting here. I ain't been loafing. I've been sitting here thinking about these parking planes all day. And I never thought I could say this, but I am stumped. I just do not have a clue how I'm going to do this. I was hoping y'all would pop off with some ideas. <laughs> That's why I said that, people. <laughs> no, now come on. Y'all don't really think I'm stumped, do you? Y'all didn't believe that, did you? Okay, bang! First of all, we gotta start with the board. We gotta get a nice board, nice firm board, nice slick board, alright? I know it has some holes in it, but not where we need them. This is called being green in the shop. This is recycled wood. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the new car salesman approach. <laughs> okay, I got that far. What do you think? Think that'll work? No. See, this is going to have to be made in two pieces right here. Just after I get this top piece laid up, I'll take this back piece off. Otherwise, it won't come out the mold. But that's how I did that other one. But ain't going to work, is it? What y'all doing? You're sitting there shaking your head. No, that ain't going to work. Because of these little deals right here. All right. I cannot pull that straight up no more. Because of these. So. I had to get around that. And I got to get all these sides real nice and make a nice mold that will come apart. So bam! What y'all think about that? Got Again, you got to get bored nice clean sides, nice smooth area. And uh, without no major hunks or chips or holes. <laughs> Now, I got that far. Then again, now to fasten this top piece here, see that that's loose. Loose as a goose. We'll just call that old Lucy. <laughs> uh, time to straighten up. No, I ain't been hitting the sauce. Okay, bam. That's gonna hold that nice, good, and tight. Good and tight. Alright, that's my German word I know. Good and tight. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I got that much done. Now, this is all loose. Now we're going to fasten that down. I ain't got bottoms, got flanges. Okay, I'm going to fasten this down. That's easy. I'm just going to drill through this wood right here. Bam, bam, bam. I already got me some holes. Made, see them little, well, I ain't got them made, but I got them marked. Okay, I'm going to drill holes in there, and I've got some big old long sheetrock screws that are going to screw down into this wood, and that's going to smash that down, that's going to hold it all in place, we hope. Then i got to uh, clay up all that edge. Now, what you? I know what you're thinking. Well, it still didn't solve this problem. That's what you was thinking, wasn't it? Okay. No, it was. Now, all this will be bolted. I'll leave this bolted together when I'm actually laying my part up. But then I can unbolt it and take it apart in sections. It'll, that, it'll parts will come out a lot easier and everything else. Okay, bam. This is how I'm going to fix this. Okay. I got me, glued me a big old piece of wood on there so that ain't flexible no more. So when I clay that up, it'll stay. 
Bam. Okay. I glued me a board right here. You can go see that little stick. Just hot glue gunned it so I can uh, have some place to fasten this to without being on there because I want that lit. I want that lit. Okay. Bam. Now I'm just going to hot put a couple tacks of hot glue in there. Clay up that edge. Clay up that edge. Clay up that edge. And this one goes back here. Bam. Okay, now, I don't want to lay these up in two pieces and then tape them together afterwards because of the fact I got a seam running right down my window. I don't want that tape on the inside of my uh, canopy because that's where I'm gluing my uh, plexiglass canopy. It'll just mess it all up, okay? So that is not an option. So what I want to do is I'll bolt there would be a part plane right here. These will come apart, okay? I'll bolt them, these two halves together, bolt this on it, turn it over, lay up all the inside, let it set up, and then I could take my molds apart, and then they'll come apart. So I won't have no seam on the inside. All right, you guys got that? Now, back to the resin. This is going to be a one, two, three four piece mold that'll be four different layups using that just that clear resin that's going to take me two weeks working 24 hours a day and I, I don't want to do that on this so what I think I'm going to do the reason I didn't like that white resin in them big buckets okay it's just the fact that these corners tend to chip you know it's all the filler in that epoxy is what it is and uh I don't know, but it, it's just the corners, you know. It's made for making molds. It just don't seem to be real durable. But that I like that stuff. It sets up quick. Once you start putting coats on it, it sets up in an hour. It don't take as many coats. And it just goes faster. The, the, my issue is these corners. So what I think I'm going to do, is I'm gonna, see this is an actual an epoxy surface coat. Okay, this is not, this is white. This is the stuff I put on that fuselage yesterday. This stuff right here. We'll go with that stuff in a minute. But this stuff marked down there, the Associated Industry says this stuff won't do it. The problem is this stuff is $100 a gallon. Okay, that's like four times more than that other white resin. They don't sell it in five gallon buckets, just gallons. And it's $100 a gallon. So what I'm going to do, and I think this will solve my problem. So I'm going to mix up small amounts of this in pastry bags and hit all my corners. Because Mark says this stuff won't chip like that other white stuff. Okay. So I'm going to put all that in my corners. Bam. Use my white resin. It'll go a lot faster. And uh, have that done in a couple days. Okay. Now, bam. Back to these parts. I just wanted to, now how many of y'all came up with a good part and plane solution that looks anything like that? <laughs> I think that's about the only way to do it right there. I believe that's about it. I think it's going to work good. Sure will. Okay, I got these things right here. This is all I need to do to lay up a fuselage. Okay, I got a short pencil going beer tomorrow. And I got to be ready for it. So, uh, tonight I'm going to lay up one of my gear doors okay and then I'm going to uh, fix it in my mold to where we could have a molded gear door I'm gonna act, my part will actually have a flange and a lip for the gear to set in same way with the drone chute I don't know if you can see them panel lines but they're on there and I'm gonna show you all how to do it where are you gonna learn how to do it the only place where you can get 10 minutes Thunder Chief building action right here in this shop so tune in later for some more Bob TV and I'll show you how, how to make nice hatches or uh, for your gear doors also your servo covers I'm going to do like this and uh, make it really nice so stay tuned for some more Bob TV the same Bob time same Bob station this episode of Bob TV was broadcasted in Philovision. This is a drama-free zone.